We're rather unique. We are actually both a, a clinic and a research facility. Both clinical and, and uh, research professionals uh, work under the same roof with the idea of improving prosthetics. I'm Kevin Engelhart. I'm the Associate Director of the Institute of Biomedical Engineering at UNB. We've been doing research in artificial upper limbs for about 40 years. One of our projects is, is termed the UNB Hand Project. One of the important aspects is to produce an artificial hand that's not only the most functional hand uh, for amputees, but also something that's affordable. Because it's important that insurance companies will recognize that this is going to create uh, a great benefit for them, and it's something that will be accessible to as many people as possible. ACOA funding has been instrumental in allowing us to keep a, a, a world-class team together. It's sometimes difficult to keep uh, very skilled people and, and allow them to focus on leading-edge innovation. In our case, we've been able to keep a team of world-class engineers and, and clinical professionals together and focused on a specific project to improve the lives of amputees. And so decades of research, basic research by NSERC, has allowed us to remain leaders in the field. Uh, that's why this is really timely opportunities for us because all of this fundamental research now can be channeled into a commercial endeavor. Some of the challenges of commercializing technology in our field pertain to the economies of scale of, of the types of products that we might produce. There are many amputees, but not enough to, to make a, a, a self-sustaining industry out of it. So government support is very important for us to uh, be able to do this kind of research and then bring a product to the point where it's commercializable for, for a company. The future is very exciting because not only will we have these devices to be available to others, but also we're working on new ways of tapping into the, the nervous system so that the man-machine interface will progress and these devices will become much, much more powerful and, uh, and dexterous for, for amputees in the future.